When it comes to things that I enjoy about games, the list is pretty simple. Unique art styles, big combos, creative control schemes, offensive humor, jiggle physics, and trophy hunting, so you know, just the normal stuff. I love collecting trophies, and for a while now, I've wanted to make one of those videos where someone goes for a platinum trophy, but I wanted to make it about a fighting game specifically. The only problem is that many fighting games require you to subscribe to PlayStation Plus to play online and get their online trophies, and even though games on the PS3 have free online play, I'd have to sell my kidneys to afford a good HDMI splitter for me to record footage from that system, so I've had to put this trophy hunting video idea to the wayside. However, at EVO 2024, a brand new re-release of the cult classic SNK vs Capcom SPC Chaos was announced, and upon seeing the trophy list for this game that has no online trophies, I could feel an idea brewing in my head. I've never played this game before, and after hearing that its reception back on the PS2 and Xbox was pretty eh, I wanted to play it and see the game for myself. As for the game's trophy list on PS4, it's pretty standard thankfully. Beat arcade mode with every character, defeat the secret bosses, don't lose a single time in arcade mode, etc. So I thought that it would be fun to cover this game in this video. Alright, wish me luck as I attempt to platinum SPC Chaos. So we're going to be going for the platinum trophy. It's not a very hard platinum, but I thought, you know, why not? I like fighting games, I like trophy hunting. Combine two things that I like, why not? Alrighty, SVC Chaos, SNK vs Capcom. It's a cool logo. Oh, look at that, already trophies, perfect. Alright, and it's pretty good, because there's 50 trophies in total, so it's a decent platinum trophy, and we don't have to leave the game and go back to the menu here if you want to view them. We can just do it in the game. And before we go for any trophies specifically, I would like to hit up training mode, just find a character that I like and figure out the mechanics. And we get 15 seconds, okay. Interesting uh, select screen. I'm gonna go with... Is there Violin Ken? Do I have to unlock him or something? Alright, if I can't pick Violin Ken now, I'll just go with regular Ken. Okay, so light punch, heavy punch, light kick, heavy kick. The input reading seems a bit strict, but that's okay. Oh, this is a... it's quite a nice looking game. That did a lot of damage. You see that? Oh, it's double health bars. Okay. Uh, okay. So the first three are pretty obvious. Nata, Toshi, Gary, come on. Okay, half circle and the kicks. And then hold during any Gary special. Okay. I think they said he has Shippu Jinrai. Yeah, Super Art 3. Half circle forward, light kick. Half circle forward, heavy kick. And if you hold down the kick, oh, That's pretty cool. Looks like an overhead. Although it's so weird, like, going back to this- well, not back to this game, but going back to an SNK game. Because I'm mainly a Street Fighter fan. You know, I, I mean, I like King of Fighters, but I never played it a lot. So having to play Street Fighter characters with a four-button scheme, it's a bit weird. It's gonna take some time to get used to. Okay, now that I know sort of the button layout, I don't know what the macros on the controller are, because I'm playing on a pad. I reckon it'll just be complete arcade mode with Ken. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, so you can- okay, I barely had time to read that, but that's okay. I think it's sort of like a dead angle attack or something, like, uh, you know, get off me tool when you're in block stun. That's okay. Greener forest, 9.30. And we're off to the races, here we go. Oh! Oh, what? Is that an overhead? Look at the damage! Are you joking? I'm trying to jump with heavy punch and then hit confirm into something. He just fart on me? What? Well, we're not doing great. Mash out a DP on wake up, I'm a Ken player. And Tatsu? Oh, the Tatsu evaded his move? Alright, let's go. <laughs> this game is so fast, like in the menus and everything. That's right, we can just do that super. Or not. <laughs> Damn, this AI is going in. Oh no. Okay, he's grabbing me, okay. Oh, DP? Can we end him with a super? Oh no, he beat it! Okay, it's fine, that's fine. Woo! That was close. Get on your feet, that can't be all you got. This game moves so fast, not just in battle, but like, loading into a match and all the text on screen, like, it's just... You get no time to breathe. Alright, Vega. Golly, you're ugly. I didn't know Vega was British. The ugly cannot defeat the fair. I never studied law. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who wrote this? This is awesome. Let me DP again. Oh no, he got me! Oh, look at the damage on that! Are you kidding me? I had such a good life lead. That's okay, heavy punch. Standing heavy punch. I just noticed, look at Balrog at the top left. Goodness, what's up with his face? But anyway, we're two down. Pretty easy. And that's the show you can. Two words. Pretty awesome, isn't it? It is pretty awesome. Nude place? What? Oh, Akuma. Okay. 
With you as an opponent, I better get serious. You're going down, freak. Nonsense. With a spirit like yours, I'll shatter you. Convert. <laughs> Babylon Bozo. I don't think Akuma would uh, quite phrase it like that, but okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Babylon Bozo. SNK, you know, even when they never had a lot of money, like around the time when this game was being made, they always knew how to do good animation and stuff, so. Props to SNK. Damn it. Not props to them, though. Any no, no props anymore, because. I'm getting my ass beat now, help. Okay. Huh. Woo! Okay. Shit, never mind. Okay, it's fine. We can win on time over. We can win on time over. This is fine. This is fine. This is not fine. I have a life deficit now. This is not fine. DP! He baited it! What? Akuma! Oh, Bastard. Time over? Really? Look at Ken's- Look at Ken's sprite! His hair is just covering his face. He's so ashamed. Oh, I'm trying to throw out an air fireball with Ken. I don't know why I thought that would work. Oh! Okay. Dick jab, get him. Crystal Shrine, 848. I love like the name and the location and the time. Okay, damn. Yuck, that's all he says. What? Look at the time, got a <laughs> Up against awesome me, it's only natural. Even though some of the lines in this game are a bit weird. You know, it's cool. I like how the characters talk to each other a lot. Play in real earnest, is that what it said? <laughs> what a line. Play in real earnest. Okay. We can do this. I can't lose to Dan, I refuse. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty, what a way to end that. Can't be what you got. Well, it is, because it's Dan Hibiki. <laughs> factory abandoned, not abandoned factory, but the reverse. Oh, Ken, but damn, you're cool. <laughs> they spelt it wrong. <laughs> I hate imposters. Try not to make an Among Us reference right now. It's no longer 2020. Oh, he DP'd me for that. Okay. Every time I do it, he like crosses me up and goes to the other side. That's okay though. Gonna end it with a DP. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that was a lot easier than Dan and Akuma. <laughs> We're fighting a lot of Capcom characters so far. Power generation room. Oh, again, another Street Fighter character. Okay, Reed. You're terrible. You're a Tyro. What? <laughs> Who wrote this? What's the- did I read that right? Tyro? Is it a slang term for something that the kids are using I just don't know about? His overhead does not look like an overhead. Like, I know it's his classic Ford Medium Punch overhead, like Solar- what's it called? Like Collarbone Breaker or something, but... The startup in Street Fighter always looks the same, but, you know, you, you see the startup and that's how you know it's an overhead. But in this game it looks completely different. So it's throwing my Street Fighter muscle memory off. He has meter. Oh, okay. I was so scared, but that's okay, here we go. Okay, close. I don't know how I feel about this, though. Please, Chip, even Chip will do it. Oh, why does it know how to DP like that? Oh, I just skipped the wink right on accident. Oh, how do you continue? Oh, wait. Oh, it gives you a buff. Difficulty level down, power gauge recovery, CPU's energy. Uh, I'm just gonna press the cross button and see what that gives me. There we go. Whoa! Okay, so I guess that's the strat. Just cross up and just use the meter that keeps regenerating. Whew! Blockade space. Okay, that's Iori. Alright. Or is that a Rochi Iori? Fudge. What are you- Fudge. Oh, nuts. What? Oh. I'm so scared. Oh, no. That's okay. Oh, it doesn't connect fully. Okay. I know I'm losing, but this first round, the second round rather, is actually going a lot better than the first one. Oh, I panicked. What? He just has perfect Oki. Shibu, Jinrakia! Did it kill? Okay, good. So I beat it. Nothing but clowns, what is this nonsense? Okay. Okay, so that previous fight, I mean, I beat it, but I didn't do it, I guess you could say quote unquote legit. You know, I had to use the, uh, the buffs. Hopefully I don't have to use the buffs in future once I learn more about the game and sort of, you know, start to figure out the AI. What? From full- wait, 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 hang on. Invisible- what? Bro, I'm so confused. I'm- I'm- Do the screen flash. Oh, like the lighting effects. What? And this- what? Oh no. What? What? Dude, and this is the normal mode. This is the normal mode. Look at that! It app prioritizes a super. I get a little rough and you fold like a dollar bill. What? Wait, it's not the touchpad, it's start. 
Wait, how do I continue? I'm pressing the touchpad. Wait, what do I press to continue? Before it was the touchpad, now it's not doing anything. Stop. Taunt. Yeah, continue. Okay, touchpad. The right side of the touchpad. Touchpad. Okay, I'm mashing it. I'm mashing all sides of the touchpad. Game over. I was... Do you run out of coins or something? Do you have to get credits? What? Okay, he confirmed. There we go. Definitely wasn't me button mashing. Okay. Uh. Ah! Sweep! Oh, we got him! Okay. <sighs> and we didn't have to use the buff. We didn't even have to use the buff. Okay, here we go. Ken's ending. He's in the forest. There's Mr. Karate. His mask is broken. Oh. It's not just a still image. It's animated. That's pretty cool. That's really nice looking, actually. That's a really good animation. His body's disintegrating. So Ken got abducted by aliens. Oh! A secret stage. Athena's holy world. Wait, Athena's there? Okay. Oh, and she looks like um, the original Athena design. What's going on? Where am I? You're in heaven. Wait, so... Like, did, did Ken die? Is Athena like Saint Peter? Wait, if we lose this, does that mean we don't get the chance to fight her again? Oh no. I'll try to hit confirm. That's okay, that's okay. What? Okay. I get so scared because it's an SNK boss fight. So they can do any sort of BS that they want at any given time. Case in point! What? Mermaid Athena? Hey, if I just block? I just block? It's like Sun Sun Super in Marvel 2. Walk into my super, please. There we go. I- What? Is that like a one-hit kill move? Super. Okay, good. We, we should be able to do this. Oh, we got it! Okay. I was so scared. Battle for a- Oh, gold trophy. Easy. Well, yeah, why is Athena- Is that- Is that God? What? I'm so confused. And then it ends. The World Warrior. Okay. Let's check how many trophies we have so far. I'm so confused. Okay, we have one. Regular Capcom character. Okay, that's one. Wait, without switching characters, that's okay. Oh, I gotta do it again, because technically I switched. That's okay, that's fine, that's fine. How many trophies do I have? One, two, perfect. Okay. Oh, fill up the meter. Okay, that's three. And four. Defeat the hidden character. Okay, I don't even know how I got to fight Athena. I don't know what, um you know, requirements I had to fulfill. That's fine. I, sure, we got like, what, four something trophies already? That's perfectly fine. We're off to an all right start. Okay, so I thought for now we'll go as Ryu, just because he's like the next best thing. We've done Ken before, move on to Ryu. Seems pretty logical. But I also made it so that we only have to do one round for each fight, just to speed up the trophy process. Prissy punches affect me not full. Dude, it's so out of character. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, oh, Dimitri. Wait, is he a secret opponent or something? Just wasn't there, wasn't there like a trophy for beating him? All right, let's see if we can beat Dimitri though. And I heard Dimitri's quite good in this game. I think that's what it's called. Whoa, he's got chain con- okay. Does he have Darkstalker's like magic series? If so, that's sick. And I might need to main him. Daybreak Misery, okay, cool. There was a trophy for beating him, perfect. I don't even know how I was able to fight him, but sure. Alright, abandoned factory. My, okay. Better ask directions. Holy cow, what? Rather unusual. Where's the circus? People can see you coming miles away. <laughs> see, I thought Ryu was pretty stoic and he didn't really want to offend anyone. They kind of made him into a jerk in this game. I'm not sure how I think about that, but it's... It's a decision they made. He has a teleport. I really want to play as Violent Ken. I never played as him before in this game. I just wonder how you unlock him or something, because I haven't seen him on the character select screen yet. Super. Boom! Okay, I'll take that. Tatsu? Oh, damn it. Maybe there isn't a trophy for beating Violent Ken. That's okay. Here we go. Mr. Karate. Oh, no! Shinokuma, what? The Murder Wave. It sounds like a hardcore 80s synth band. Could please Ryu! Oh, I suck. And you- Oh, may you die and be devoured by a hundred demons. It's pretty hardcore, that's okay. You know what, I'm feeling pissed off after that. Ugh. I did the third of a health bar thing. Yep, okay, there we go. 
Fist of destruction, eh? Nevertheless, I'll overcome you. Oh, is that it? He just disappeared. Okay. Okay, so Ryu just, like, disappeared. Cool. That's a pretty bleak ending in the depths of darkness. I wonder if that's the game saying, hey, you can only get the proper ending if you don't play on easy mode. I hope not. We got another trophy, so that's okay. Ugh, I feel exhausted after all that. I'm gonna take a break, and I guess I'll play some more after. Okay, we're back. I last played around uh, five-ish hours ago. Um, it's still day one, so we're still going for the Platinum. So the last two characters I did were Ryu and Ken, Capcom characters, and I wanted to do an SNK character, and it's Terry. And I figured out if you hold L1 on some of the characters, you can play as the secret characters, like Terry is masked people. But for now, we're just gonna go as regular Terry. This is my practice for uh, City of the Wolves when that comes out. Even though I suck at SNK games. I like that new character, Preacher, she looks pretty cool. Ooh! Oh, that Buster Wolf would've been sick there. You're female, alright, what? And this is a game where Terry's DP is a charge motion, which always throws me off. Can, you, can we end it with Buster Wolf? Yeah! Are you okay, Buster Wolf? I love how Dan's in this game, man. They didn't need to put him in, but it's funny that they did. And oh yeah, and I figured out how to do throws. It's like Street Fighter throws, like that, boom. Get the picture, that's why they call me the Hungry Wolf, again. Is this the disappearance ending? Oh, so it's just the same ending that Ryu had. Okay, that's okay. I think we should get the trophy? There we go, the King of Fighters. Cool title. I wonder if there's another one. Mastery Terry. I think these are the two we're gonna get. Cause it's, do this, oh, no second chances, okay. So we got this one for, okay, clear arcade mode with Terry. Okay, don't switch. Regular SNK character, perfect. What was the other one we got? Using a single credit, oh, okay, cool, perfect. All right, easy. And these one are just for like defeating secret bosses and whatnot. We could try to get this one next time, win with a timeout. All right, going into our fourth playthrough now. So we've done Terry, we've done Ryu, we've done Ken. So I'm thinking there are Shotos, and I was like, you know what? I want to try out a different character archetype, and as I'm a big fan of grapplers, I want to try out my main man, Hugo. So as far as I know, he is like the worst character in the game. I was playing with him in training mode just before. And oh wait, there's, there's poison, there's, is that the guy Bao, the kid from SNK? Okay. On his head. <laughs> oh, Poison talks. That's pretty cool. I was gonna say- oh, okay. Hugo's talking as well. I like how Poison's always there with him. So yeah, as far as uh, I know, Hugo's like the worst character. His movement isn't actually that bad. You see his walk speed isn't bad and he jumps pretty fast, which is good. Do it again. Bang, counter hit. Alright, cool. I did not want to fight him uh, for any longer, especially because he just entered maximum mode. Alright, here we go. Factory abandoned. Gendro. Okay. Yeah, Hugo's dash is amazing. Like, look at this, look how fast he is. I mean, he's big, which doesn't help him, and he sucks, but... You know, if you're playing casually or, like, arcade mode like me, he's not too bad. I can't get over the fact that this is called Nude Place. Guile! Look at his hair! Dude! Look at his hair! He looks like Aki from Street Fighter VI! I know Guile always has, like, the big, exaggerated flat top, but, like... Look at it now! Look at his hair! The input reading in this game is quite strict. You really need to do the motions, like, really precisely. Oh, I, like, there, that was SPD. I got a clap, though. Again? Okay, there we go. On his wake-up, do super. Oh, he beat me out of it! Gronk! Oh, I died. Okay, that's okay. I can't get Hugo's SPD out sometimes. It just doesn't give it to me. Oh, it's doing this thing again where you can't continue! Is this a bug? It has to be a bug, right? It's gotta be a bug. Or can you run out of credits? Is that a thing in this game? Why does it do that? Like, sometimes you... You know, you button mash... Uh, the touchpad button. And it doesn't let you continue. I gotta check that. Hang on. Game. Absolutely zero range. Let me continue. It doesn't let me continue! Can you not continue on the final boss? Why does it not let you continue? I have to look this up. Oh, apparently you only have a limited amount of continues. You have three or four of them, except the game never tells you. Perfect. And... Oh, perfect with Hugo. Who'd have thought it? Athena defeated. Is it the same ending from before? Oh, what is it? Okay, here we go. I don't get all this, but we could use this chick. They're after poison. <laughs> 
having contracted with Athena. The Miracle Battle. The Heavenly Athena versus the Giant. The Great Giant versus Athena. It was a worldwide hit. And the filthily wealthy Poison and Hugo enjoyed a life of wine and roses together. That's oddly sweet. Alright, well that's Hugo's arcade mode. Master Hugo, thank goodness, okay. Okay, so for my final arcade mode run of the night, I thought, you know what, we've been playing the regular character so far. So I would like to play as a secret character, and I thought we'll go with Red Arima. So you can see I can summon in projectiles and whatnot, and just fly around. I guess they track as well. Big fireball. So you can see Red is pretty good. Like, look at this, what does Earthquake do? The second one of my minions goes down, I just spawn them in again, there's no, like... There's no cooldown period, there's nothing. Like, look at this man, what do you do? What does Chun-Li do? Especially because Firebrand's, like, his animations are so ambiguous. It can be hard to predict what he's gonna do and, like, react. Like, look at this man, I should've picked this guy sooner. Perfect. Oh, that's sick, she's like Shenko. Chinese hopping vampire, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty cool. Go nuts, okay, two set play demons. Summon the flying things in again. There we go. I don't know what they are at the top of the screen, those, like, burrito looking things. Oh, they come back? Get a minion, my child. Overhead? Yeah, I got him. Right, counter hit. Oh, and a combo. Nice. Oh, that's freaky. Okay. Now we fly, charge it up. Boom. Summon them in. You can summon them in instantly. There's like very little startup. I guess you can be a close range bully with pressure. You can also apply pressure from a distance if you really want to. Like, look at that. He super jumped and landed on the projectile. Oh, firebrand. What is that? <laughs> like, look at this, man. What's he already gonna do? Do that. Overhead, bang. Oop. Damn, we're shredding him. I might even have time to do one more after this, just because it's taking me way- like, it's way faster than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, but who knows? Maybe okay, I'm speaking too soon. There's Mr. Karate. He goes nothing. Oh! Dead, dead. Oh, that was so lucky. Yo, Tengu. <laughs> that was so lucky. I just went for it, dude. I just went for it. Ah, he disappeared. Okay. But no crazy, you know, secret final boss. That's okay. That's Firebrand down. Mystery of Capcom. So I assume that one's for getting the game done with a secret character. Actually, you know what? I am getting a bit tired. It is a bit late. I'm probably going to call it here. So that's day one. Actually, let's get out. Let's... How many trophies do I have? We have... 12. Out of 51. But I'm gonna write it as 50, because technically one of them is the Platinum Trophy. So it's really 50 trophies. So 12 out of 50. Not bad. Not bad. Hidden Capcom character. I'm a bit busy tomorrow, but when I get home, I'll fire up the game again, do some more recording, and we'll get some of the more uh, difficult trophies done. You know, some of the characters I don't really know how to use, I'll just get them out of the way. Maybe uh, figure out how to do some of these sub-bosses. Actually, I might meet, I might leave the uh, sub-bosses for last. Just because it'll be cool uh, to end on those characters, to see how we fight them in arcade mode. But yeah, gonna call it here, 12 out of 50, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in day two. Okay, we're back. It's day two. Uh, we got up a bit early today, had a medical appointment, but we're back in the saddle, ready to play. And I thought we ended last night on Red Aramur, I believe, who was down here below, or not below, but, you know, part of Tessa as a secret character. And I thought, I want to start off today, day two, with an SNK character. I thought to go with Rio, is how I think you say his name. Okay, get back in. Do another throw. Tick throw. Never mind. Oh, no! Okay, we could lose. That's not good. I'm just going to defend. If we can win on time over, that'll be okay. He's walking. I don't like this. <laughs> there we go. I thought if he throws me, I might be screwed. I'll try to throw him first. Hey, don't knock me, pal. This is my profession. I lose and there's no tomorrow. That's kind of concerning. Are you okay, Rio? <laughs> it's okay, dude. It's fine if you lose. It's part of the warrior's journey. Press? Yeah, big damage. Machine gun punch. Super, get him. Oh, no. That did so much damage, dude. Only has to recover. That's so good. 
Let's go. Bam! With punish. Easy. Let's go. Oh. Whoa! Do the damage! Oh my goodness. That's nuts, dude. Okay, it's even now. Oh, not really even. I have the life lead, but still. Autocorrect? Oh no. Projectile? Yeah, got him. Ultimate with punish. Get him? Done. Chip damage. Okay. We got a lot of super finishes there. We didn't lose once, so... Maybe we'll get a secret fight? No, we don't. Okay. So Rio disappeared. That's okay. But we should get the trophy, which is what counts. Hey, there we go. Mastery Rio. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so we've just done Rio. I'm thinking we can do Iori now. Just sticking with the SNK side of things. <laughs> Dwarf. Damn, okay, Iori. I don't know if you can get away with that. Okay, sure. Can you... Uh, sure? <laughs> get away from me, Dwarf. <laughs> what? Whew, that was close. Iori's pretty edgy. Like with his wing quotes, but he's like an early 2000s type of edge, you know? Like Death Note or something. I know King of... Iori would have been created in like, what, the late 80s, the early 90s probably, but... He just reminds me of that like, early 2000s edgy anime, like Death Note, Helsing. <laughs> he's trying to get a charge going on, but he keeps getting hit. He didn't even try to block that, he just gave up. He just gave up, dude. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're fighting the other Iori, okay. Okay, so this he already knows to stand block. There's the follow up. There we go. I just want to get him with one super, man. It looks so cool. Ah! I'm actually really excited to play as Mr. Karate. I'm hoping that his playable version is just as busted as the Mr. Karate you fight against here. You're a meanie. I'll teach you manners. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love how Athena, like in the cutscene, is a lot less pale than how she is in the game. She's like super duper pale. So yeah, about the Athena battle, I gotta look it up, like, on how to fight her and the other bosses, because we haven't fought Mars people yet, or any- or, um, Zero. So there are a couple fights I'm not too sure how to come across. But we'll leave them for the end. For now, we're doing good, and we should get the trophy. There we go, right on cue. Mastery Iori. Perfect. Game over. Okay, so we just did Iori. I'm thinking we've pretty much just played as the guy character so far. I want to try out one of the uh, girl characters, and I thought, Shiki's pretty cool. I love her animations, I love her stance. Oh, and it's a mirror match, cool. So I did approximately three macro seconds of training mode. And Shiki, she seems pretty awesome. I like her special moves, she has a DP. You can press forward and mash light punch, or forward and mash light kick to get the string out here, it's pretty cool. She can do a DP in the air, which is really sick. She has like an over, I don't know if it's an overhead, but it's this move. She kind of like flips forward. You can combo into it. It's pretty cool. I wonder if her standing heavy kick or close heavy kick is an overhead. Kind of like an axe kick. Like that move there. If that was an overhead, that'd actually uh, be pretty cool. Don't tell me I lose to Dan. Okay, that should do it. Okay, good. I don't want to lose to Dan. Oh, Sagat. With his massive giraffe neck. What a female. Have you never seen a woman before, Sagat? Dude, Sagat's arms are, like, oddly thin. What's up with his sprite? I tried to DP! Oh, that's fine, okay. Ooh. I was so scared, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> Woo! Shinikuma, maybe? Yeah, I had a feeling. Please? Good, okay. That might be dead. Yes, perfect. There it is. Mastery Shiki, perfect. Alright. So that's three characters. Uh, I think I'm gonna take a break now, have some lunch. It's currently one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, I'll have some lunch. And then I will come back after, and we'll keep playing, and we'll get some more trophies. Okay, I'm back. It's around 3.12 p.m. now, it says. So it's been like two-ish hours. Had a lunch break, did my thing, and we're gonna be playing as Mr. Karate. So there's actually two. So there's the regular Mr. Karate, and there's the boss one here, where Kasumi is. But for now, we're just gonna go with the regular one. Oh, that's a cool teleport. Whoa. Oh no! Whoa! Look at the damage, dude! Now it's even just because of that. But that's okay. At least I can do my exceed! One, two, three! 
And it does good damage to their guard bar as well. I'm trying to do the super and then get the AI to press like that so I can counter hit them. Like that. Perfect. Damn, this is... This is working out too well. One more time. Bang. Not even a cool looking teleport can stop me. Whoa! Got my exceed though, baby. Oh, that killed! I didn't think that was gonna kill. I didn't think, ah. Oh, really? No uh, special ending, okay. There we go, Mastery Mr. Karate, perfect. Another character down. Pretty smooth sailing so far. Pretty good, I'm happy with the progress that we're making. Okay, so we've just done Mr. Karate. I'm thinking, you know what, let's do a charge character. Let's try out Guile. Oh, Geese, okay. I don't think I've run into Geese yet. You, why your Geese Howard? Shad... Shad or Lu... Okay, they spelled Shad Lu horribly wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> I've never seen it spelt like that, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm just trying to get the super out, dude. I'm trying to get the super out! Okay, that killed. That does so much damage. Hey, what goes up must go down. Okay. Give me the charge! Oh, okay. Whew! Damn, you just dashed into it. I was so scared. Okay, Shinokumo. You give even- Goose pimples? Not goose bumps? Goose pimples? Okay, good ending. And we get a trophy as well. Right on time. Mastery Guile. Or Gwilly, as the kids say. Alright, I'm feeling another SNK character, so I'm gonna go with Kim. Kim's cool. I used to do Taekwondo as a kid. I did it for a couple years. It's been a long time. But I've always liked and had a fascination with Taekwondo characters in fighting games. You know, Kim, Kafwon, Haurong, uh, Rig, and Dead or Alive, etc. I did a little bit of training mode. Evil is as strong as good. Stop worrying, Grubala. I'll rehabilitate you. <laughs> okay. I guess Kim operates a for-profit rehabilitation center. Whenever he gets a commission, he gets a pay- you know, like a bonus pay rise. There you go, there's a succeed. Douche! Oh, that killed! I didn't think that was gonna kill, I just wanted to throw it out. Cause the endings don't really matter to me, as long as we can just get the trophies. Which we've done. Mastery Kim, another one down, perfect. Okay, so we just did Kim Kafwan. I'm thinking I want to do another martial artist, but one that has a projectile. And I thought Sagat fits the bill quite nicely, so let's go with Sagat. DP? I thought you would have pressed. Do that super until it works. There we go. <laughs> throw? Oh, I was out of range for the throw. She's not going to predict this, though. Boom. Tiger Raid. Yeah, we're cruising. Oh! Other Sagat. Race swap Sagat. Tiger Raid. That's like one of my favorite supers so far. And it's just because of the kick he does at the end, the flying kick. It's literally him just like, I'll do it now. You see at the end how it's just like that one frame of animation, but they just move him forward in the air. It's so funny. And there we go. Perfect. I hope we can fight Athena again. I doubt it, but I hope we can fight her again. Oh, I taunted. I wanted to see what the touchpad did, I forgot, and it taunts it. You may be, like, one of the rulers of heaven, but I have Tiger Raid, and I can do Muay Thai. Can you, Athena? Thought not. I'm okay as long as she doesn't do one of the transformations. Okay, I kind of jinxed it. Okay, whoo! I was so scared. That's cool. Sagat rejects Shadowloo, he's like, there's more to life than that. How do I stop feeling hollow inside? And as a result, we get a trophy. Let's go. Okay, so for now, I want to go with a character I know nothing about in terms of story, so I thought of Kasumi. I know her full name is Kasumi Tado, and I know Tado is a character in Capcom vs. SNK2, so I assume they're related. Here we go, Dan. Daniel Hibi- that super does so much damage, dude. Takuma Sakazaki, trying to fool with the mask. <laughs> what game is Kasumi from? I don't even know. So, right, Guile, if you just want to down back and charge, I can do this and ship you out, man. I got chips for days. Or I can do that, if you're not ready. Foolproof strategy. Evo winning strategy. One more time, chip. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Karate, again. Takuma Sakazaki, you're the ringleader. <laughs> she just knows, man. She just knows. I want to end it with this. Yeah, I got him, okay. Perfect. And that's it.
And we should get the trophy for Mastery Kasumi. Right on cue. So I'm not sure if this is the uh, the last I'll play of SVC Chaos today. It's currently 4.02 p.m. So I gotta do some stuff and I have a stream later tonight I'm doing with a friend. Um, and that's gonna be taking up my nights. But if I can play a bit before or even after that, I will. Uh, but if not, I will see you guys in day three. All right, it's currently 10.35 p.m. Day two, still day two, so we're making good progress. I realized that I don't have the trophy yet for beating the game as Ken. I thought I did, but I was looking through the trophy list before I started recording, and I realized that I don't have the Ken one, because I accidentally switched to Kyo when I was playing as Ken. So we're gonna go through the game as Ken. I am a bit tired, so I might not be as animated as I normally am. And this infinite meter thing is gonna be a blessing, because I'm trying not to fall asleep as I play. But I just think, you know, before I want to go to bed, I want to try to, you know, see if I can get a couple more trophies in. Sure you can. Do it again. Sure you can. <laughs> nice. Oh, I can do my exceed now. Sure you can. So much damage. He, that can even beat out exceeds. Are you kidding me? It's okay, got him there. Bang. And that should be Ken. Yeah, mastery Ken. Okay, perfect. Let's do another character now. Okay, so we've just done Ken, so I want to keep doing a sort of Shoto-ish character, so I thought go with Kyo. Why not? He's pretty cool. And that way the top row of all the characters will be completed. We've already gotten two mini-bosses out of the way. We've gotten, um, Geese out of the way, and we fought Dimitri. And we've also beat Mr. Karate, Shinokuma at the end, and Athena. So that's pretty right. Oh, Mask People! I was skipping out of habit. Okay, Mask People, good. Perfect. I think it's because I was using Exceeds to win the match. Maybe that spawned him in. But he's from Metal Slug, I believe. Or oh, they're from, because Mars people. There's more than one of them. That's okay. PF Squad Honorary Member. Perfect. Another trophy down. Oh no. That's not good. Huge damage. But it's okay, we have Exceed. Doosh. Nice. Yeah, here we go, Mr. Karate. Nearly. Let's do it again. Perfect. Okay. Kyo disappeared. That's okay though, because we've got two trophies. One for beating it as Kyo, and one for beating Mars people. We should get it. There we go. Mastery, Kyo. Perfect. We've gone three so far in the sitting. I'm feeling a couple more characters before I go to bed. Okay, so as I adjusted Kyo, I wanted to go with the character I was more familiar with in terms of the moveset, so I thought, you know what? Akuma. I'm sure Akuma will be pretty alright in this game. I just did like five seconds of training mode with him. I'm gonna lose, don't jump. Dude, from that I have the life lead. Get him! Ooh! That's gonna be one of the most, like, damaging raging demons ever, dude. With punish, one, two, three. That kill? Oh, I killed. Amazing, all right. Okay, and now we should get the trophy. Yes, mastery Akuma, perfect. Okay, so we just did Akuma, and I thought, you know what, we've done a character who I'm familiar with, like all the moves, I thought, let's do a character that I'm not familiar with, uh, Balrog. I've never been much of a Balrog player, I mean, I like playing him casually every now and then in Street Fighter, but I never practiced him, I never learned him. I struggle to do them on the player 2 side, so I got a side switch. Oh no. That killed me? What? Dude, I just wanted to do the move, I just wanted to do the move. Boom! Super combo finish. Very nice. Another Street Fighter map for you. Okay. The sooner I can get Balrog over and done with, the better. Because I'm just doing this super now because I don't really know how to play as him properly. Oh no. Okay. Woo! I'm glad my move beat out his move. Easy. Should be a trophy. There you go. Mastery Balrog. Okay. So for the final character of the night, I thought, you know what? Let's do another secret character. And I really want to do Violent Ken, because I've been hyping him up, and I've played him a little bit in training mode, and he's really fun. If I had to pick a main in this game, it'd probably be Violent Ken. He's super fun. I should be dead. Oh ho ho! Especially because Akuma would have low health in this game. I assume the characters have different health values in this game, right? It's like a surefire way to do damage. Just do that. To Shin Ryuken! Guaranteed Half-Life. Probably even more if I hit confirm into it. 
Maybe damage scaling will add up. Okay, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> nice, we're cruising. That's what we're going to Oh, the whiff punish. And that's dead. Okay, that's most... What, in under three minutes? That's like the fastest arcade run I've done so far. And even the Athena fight isn't going to be that long. I was just like fully involved for that whole animation, but even then, Half-Life still. <laughs> that should be dead. Is it dead? Oh, it is. Yo, so quick, so easy. Alright, I think we'll get a trophy for doing it with Violent Ken. I think we will get a trophy. I hope so. There we go, Mastery Violent Ken. Okay, perfect. You know what? That was incredibly short. It was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be, so I'll do one more. Okay, so sticking with the trend of picking secret characters, we've done Capcom secret characters so far, but for now, I want to try out the main man, Geese Howard. So obviously a very high execution character. Execution which I certainly do not possess, but we're going to give him a shot anyway. There we go. Doosh. Perfect, okay. Is it just me or does Ryu's outfit look kind of green here? There we go, mistimed the crouching heavy punch. Doosh. Are we going into the sub-boss? Yes, we are. Perfect. Okay, nearly at the end, the final stretch. I doubt Geese Howard would go to heaven in the afterlife. Okay, we somehow dodged that. Doosh! Good again? <laughs> okay. Let me finish it off with this super. Yeah! Raging Storm! It's sort of really cool animation. So there's one. Mystery of SNK. Perfect. And then we should get the other one. Mastery Geese. Alright. I'm gonna call it here for tonight. How many trophies do I have? Let's see. 29! Not bad. So just over the halfway point. Okay. So it's 50 trophies. That's just over 50%, I believe. Cool. 29 out of 50. Alright, so that's the end of day 2. We have 29 trophies out of 50. And yeah, I will see you guys in day 3. Alrighty, we're back. It's day 3. It's currently 1.16pm. I have a sore throat, but that's okay. And I thought, you know what? Let's start off with Mai. Because I honestly forgot she was in this game. Because despite being a very popular character, I just forgot about her. And I've noticed there are a lot of popular characters from both Capcom and SNK that just aren't in this game. There's no Benimaru, there's no Blanka, there's no Zangief. A lot of characters aren't in this game. This is one of my first times that I've ever played Mai in like a fighting game. I never even touched her in CVS2 as well. I might though. Mai's pretty cool. And I'm happy that she and Terry are coming to Street Fighter 6. I think that having them both is a little bit of overkill, but... You know, it's not too bad. That's okay. Ooh, perfect. That's so good. The damage is so big. I've noticed this Fireball Super. It's not bad. Although, you have to actually wait for the, you know, the projectiles to physically travel across the screen. So it's hard to use as, like, a whiff punish tool. But it's all good if you can spam it like me. <laughs> Yeah, one of the reasons why I'm using the infinite round and, like, the infinite super thing is because while I'm editing this video, I've noticed that recording all this footage is taking up a crap ton of space on my hard drive. Like, an ungodly amount of space. So, I don't want the video files to be super duper long, you know. I gotta record arcade mode playthroughs for every single character and all the miscellaneous stuff after. So I'm just trying to keep the file size down. Ooh, what a super. So much damage on the Exceed. I want to see if I can use it on Mr. Karate. Because this guy always damages me a lot. Alright, he's not doing a great job of defending against this super though. <laughs> Maybe this is the strat. Never mind, he figured it out. Now we should get the trophy Mastery Mai. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Alright, that's Mai's trophy down. Okay, so I've realized we've nearly done all of the SNK characters. We've got these two down at the top row, these two, these guys. We've done Kim, Shiki, and Kasumi. So Gendro, Earthquake, and Choi left for the regular characters. I'm thinking now we can go Choi. So I just came out of training mode with Choi. He is a charge character, which is an archetype that I am not good with. But he has some cool supers. Like Psycho Crusher. Alright, okay, Dalsum. We rarely see Dalsum. Dude, this guy's jump is so good. Going to a super, and you can actually move the super around, like you can steer it, which is really cool. And I haven't seen his Exceed yet, but I know the command list says that you do it in the air, which is interesting. And it's not like Kim's where you can do it on the ground or in the air. Choi's Exceed is like specifically in the air. Perfect. Now we're going into stage 4. 
We're halfway through. Gurdens. Seems like he can hit me out of it. That's okay. I can hit him too. I love his voice there. Bye bye! That's pretty good. Alright, here we go. Stage 6. Watch this. Other oh, super. You weren't ready for that. You thought I was going to use the tornado, and rightfully so. I've been spamming it. <laughs> Alright, that should be it. Nearly. We can go for chip, though. We can. We can try. We can try. Or we can just do that, where you do blank a ball. Yeah, you're going to end it in style. So we should be getting the Mastery Choi Trophy. Right about now. Yep, there we go. Mastery Choi. Alright, two more trophies in. And let's go on to the next character. Alright, so we've just done Choi, and we also did Mai before. I'm thinking we stick with the SNK crew, and for now we will be doing Dendro, the lone Samurai Showdown character in this game. Yep, Dan, okay. That means we're halfway through already, which is pretty good, we're going fast. Yeah, this is way faster than doing supers. And we're probably getting comparable damage as well, eh? I mean, it's slow. this button is slow to start up. But, you know, we're, we're only playing against the AI, so it's fine. Oh, traded from that range? Wow. Here we go, second to last stage in, like, just under 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Oh no, Shiki's from Samurai Showdown, I just remembered. Yeah, she is. I forgot. My bad. I'm pretty sure she is, because I know she's in the 2019 Samurai Showdown game. Okay, never mind, maybe Genjiro isn't the lone Samurai Showdown breath in the game. Okay, so I'm red now. I assume that's rage mode or something like in Samurai Showdown. It's part of Gendra's Exceed. I know he has like, you press three buttons and he enters it. Like that, okay. So you gotta press like different button combinations, although the buttons you have to press, like the combinations are really awkward to do on a pad. But that's okay, we got it done super quickly. And that's Gendra's Arcade Mode done. Perfect, Mastery Gendra. Alrighty, let's move on to the next character. Alright, I'm gonna be going with Earthquake for now. Because he's the final non-secret SNK character for us to use. And I thought, you know what? Let's do it. He also has some funny supers. This one's an overhead. It's a big knowledge check. And you can see even the AI knows. It knows to stand block. And it also homes, I believe. So it doesn't matter where they are. It will home in on them. Oh, you see the whiff punish? We went under, dodged the butt splash. And then, boom! Zero! Zero, okay! Undre Ugh, okay, undressing. Ugh, that's a bit weird. What? We got Zero. I haven't seen him in this game yet, although I've heard that Zero is OP. Like, he's stupid good in this game. But is he good enough to survive one of these? Most likely not. Douche. And that's a trophy? Yeah. For the glory of Neo Arcadia. Awesome. Thank you, Guile. Now watch this. Huh. <laughs> It's a bit of a knowledge check, because it's like, you see Earthquake going underground, and you're like, what? And then, you know, before you can even fully process it, he's already doing a super. He does like to throw out projectiles and stuff from a distance, like that. So I reckon I just do this super. I just wait to whiff punish, and because I'm invincible, there's nothing he can do. Are you gonna taunt? Alright then. Taunt to get bodied, the true combo. Alright, do it again then. Can't do that. Can't hit me. Alright, we should get it. Yeah, there it is, Mastery Earthquake. So that was two trophies. One for beating it with Earthquake, and one for beating Zero. Awesome. This never blocks this. Or is it unblockable? Because it looks like he's going to block, but he still gets hit. I don't even know. Let's see. Oh, that's sick. Oh, here we go. Maybe this is Red Arima. Yeah, it is. It's Firebrand. Perfect. Okay. Oh, there is no dialogue. Okay. Because I was going to say, I'm not going to skip the dialogue, I'm not going to press anything, I'm just going to let it play out. I didn't press anything, I didn't touch the controller, and it still got skipped. This is fine. So we saw before just how strong he is with his minions and whatnot, but... No match for Athena. And there you go, battle for domination. Oh, there's the cutscene now, okay. Who'd have thought it? Red Arima defeated? But this is the netherworld. Someone like you has no place here. He, uh, and then it ends, right? Okay, it just cuts to credits. Perfect. Okay, so we've just done Athena, and we've done all of the SNK characters, at least the normal ones. I thought, you know what? We've done Ryu, we've done Ken, done Guile. I want to close out this little kind of cube, these four squares up here, meaning we move on to Chun-Li. 
I quite like how Chun-Li feels in this game, you know, her, her movement is pretty good. You can see her walk speed is amazing, as it always is. Her jump is nice and pretty aerial, you know, gets some nice height, stays up there for a decent amount. Got some good buttons, it seems. Got two nice supers. This super seems really good for whiff punishing. This super is more of a close range one. Good ship damage. Yeah, sorry, Hugo. There's a third strike matchup right here. Okay, he's just doing that. That's fine. Final hit. Oh, that was sick. I just improvised that. I was like, wait, he's in the air. I might be able to just do Kikosho. This is like what I was doing with Violent Ken, where you can do the, uh, like the Exceed. Or you can do his, uh, Super Jinrai Super into Exceed. You know, you combo a Super into a Super. Although if this Chun-Li Super, the kick one, if that whiffs or if they block it, it's lights out, so you got to be careful. But I'm playing against the AI, so it's okay. Woo! Let's go. Give me the trophy, Mastery Chun-Li. Yeah, dopamine. Perfect. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling that we keep it going with the Street Fighter side of things, so I'm going to be going as Dalsum. So Dalsum's a character I don't have a lot of experience playing. Hey, Mirror Match. And yeah, Dalsum... I really like Dalsum as a character, and I love watching him be played. Like, a high-level Dalsum is sick to watch in just about every Street Fighter game. But my goodness, man, like that floaty jump and everything, like, I just... I can't do it. I can't figure out how you play Dalsum, which is a shame, because I love his character. I would love to play more Dalsum, but... He's just super unorthodox, at least for my brain. Yeah, and look at his forward dash as well in this game. <laughs> it's pretty freaky. Yoga Drill! <laughs> I think here is uh, programming broke. Oh no, he's blocking. There we go. And that's also good as an anti-air yeah, if they jump in, because it's got a big attack radius, right? And I assume a pretty big hitbox. Yoga Inferno! Do it again, what are you gonna do, Violent Ken? You haven't trained for this. You haven't trained for this at all, dude. Ship. Get shipped out. Alright. Here we go, final stage. Nice. Hey, we got him. No exceed, but that's okay. That's perfectly fine. And no ending. Dalsum disappears. He travels back to his native India and just kind of, you know, does his thing. Never to be seen again by the outside world. But that's okay. Because we got a trophy. Alright, let's keep it going. We're making really good progress today. Really good progress. Alright, so for now, I just want to do Bison, you know, just to get another Street Fighter character done. And also just to get, you know, one step closer to clearing out the Capcom side of the roster. Nice, got him. Okay, perfect. Cool, Bison and Chun. It's a lore battle. The day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. Amazing quote. Alright, that was pretty easy. Chun Li just didn't want to put up a fight. Okay. There we go. Ultimate with punish. That's okay. Surely his Psycho Crusher super goes through projectiles, right? Never mind, okay. Yeah, this guy really does suck. I see now. That charge input bug thing hurts him a lot. Supers don't go through projectiles. Maybe his damage isn't that good as well. But that's okay. Because, again, it's just arcade mode. Oh, he went through! Whoa! Okay, that was crazy. Oh. Other side? Dude, his DP hits on oh, hit from behind. Are you joking? Okay, Bison disappears, which is probably good, because Bison is super evil. So it would benefit society if he were to disappear. <laughs> but he came back. So that's okay. We got the trophy, though. Mastery and Bison, that's another trophy down. Alright, we're here. We've just done Bison, so I'm thinking we do Vega. And I've never been much of a Vega fan. I like his character, I really love his design. But in terms of playstyle, he's just not really for me. And he does have some cool supers in this game, but again, they're locked behind charge inputs. Which I'm not very good at. There we go. Oh no, not dead. Okay, stand jab, there we go. <laughs> I just wanted to go for something really fast. I mean, we're already at the halfway point, which is crazy. In like a minute. Just because this super does so much damage. Oh, that was really cool with punish. Okay. And yeah, I'm just doing the super over and over again. It's pretty useful against the AI. They don't really know how to defend against it sometimes. And bang. So cool. I love that rose animation at the end. 
We haven't lost, so I wonder if we'll get the opportunity to fight a secret boss. Yes, Athena, okay. And that's another trophy down, I believe. Mastery Vega. Yeah, alright, perfect. Alright, we're back. It's currently 4.23 in the afternoon, and I've realized that the only character I have left to do, uh, excluding the secret characters, is Tessa from Red Earth. Tessa's pretty cool in this game. I heard she's alright. As far as I can tell from playing her a bit in trading mode, she's mostly like a mid to long range kind of fighter. She throws out projectiles and stuff, and you can also hold down the buttons to increase their range and whatnot. So yeah, Tessa's really cool. I love her outfit. I love Red Earth. It's a great game. Tessa's a really cool character. And it's kind of surprising that they put Tessa in this game and not like Zangief or something. You know, you know what I mean? Like, Tessa made it in over a lot of characters. But, you know, it's always good seeing these more, uh... I guess obscure slash oddball characters in these versus games. You know, the crossover titles. Nice. Wake up DP, get off me. I love how it hits multiple times. Multi-hitting DPs are always super satisfying. Oh no. Oh my word. Please? Alright, good. Woo! That was close. That was really close. Please, I just want to end it with the bomb. Okay. Oh no, that killed! <laughs> That's okay. Doesn't matter too- Oh wait, it's still active? Is it going to explode? During the cutscene? Wait. <laughs> it just blew up and ended the cutscene. Okay. We'll get the trophy though. Yeah, there we go. Mastery Tessa. Perfect. Okay. Just the secret characters left. And I'm thinking for the rest of the secret characters, we're going to begin with Gurnets. Hey. Hey. There we go. Oh wow, that command grab beat him out. Okay, perfect. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> That's okay, Akuma. I have a command grab of my own. Doosh. Oh, and I can do exceed now. Like that. Perfect. Choke you out. End it. Very nice. And it went through his fireball as well, which was sick. Please. Oh. Okay, good. We're punished. Whew. That's dead. Now we get- Dude, we're always fighting Athena. It's pretty much a given that we're going to be able to fight her. Okay, we should be able to get the trophy now. Perfect. Mastery Gonitz. Okay, let's move on to the next secret character. Okay, so for now we're going to go with Orochi Yori. I'm not too sure how he's different to the regular Yori. He has the same fireball, he's got the wreckers. I assume his supers will be different maybe. There we go. That's pretty easy to confirm. Can just do standing or crouching heavy punch into it. Look at his dashes! And if they're in the air, you can try to DP. <laughs> well, a lot of startup though, that's the, that's the main drawback. That's fine. If you land that, dude, doing combos would be so much easier than normal. Douche. I think the AI has just given up. It's just scared of Orochi Yori. <laughs> and boom. Get him on the flip out. Perfect. His backdash is amazing. Just get out of any situation instantly. You have time to whiff a DP and then do it. <laughs> well, the AI finally blocked something. Okay. It's showing signs of life. That's good. But it doesn't matter too much. I'm trying, I'm trying to hit confirm into it. There you go. So if you can land a jump in or something, go into like heavy punch, crouching, heavy punch, whatever you want. And then hit confirm. Okay, he was frozen sort of in the air. But that's okay, we'll go for the DP kill. Let's see what his exceed is. Can I grab? Oh, wow, okay. I'm actually surprised that that didn't kill. Regular grab. Explosion. Very nice. Perfect. Mastery Orochi Iori. Alright, so now we're going to be doing Serious Mr. Karate. I'm pretty sure that's his proper name. There's the, there's the really quick fireball we all know and love. Look at this fireball. Uh, uh, uh. And I don't think Serious Mr. Karate has any special moves. Oh, sorry, supers. That is supers. I think he has an exceed, but other than that, I'm pretty sure he just has the special moves. Right, I've learned my lesson. Oh, no, never mind. It's the best move in the game. That's so good. <laughs> well, actually, what does his throw look like? I want to see his throw. Gendro, please. Oh, nice. That seems like a real martial arts move. You know, you sweep their leg. And then boom, punch to the ground. I just realized I have my exceed. Got him. Oh. Nice. Okay. Good way to end it. Mr. Karate Mirror. 
Well, I can't really call him cheap now, because I'm playing as him. <laughs> if I just wait a bit for him to get up, he normally does an attack, like that, and then he'll get hit by my big special move. Yeah, okay, that's the strat. Time the move, so it comes out just as he gets up and does an, uh, an attack. Alright, you wanna taunt me? Sure. Taunt this, douche. Perfect. Alrighty, now we'll get the trophy. There you go. Serious Mr. Karate Mastery. Perfect. Okay, so we're nearly done with the Platinum Trophy journey. I just looked at the trophy list. And I'm thinking we go with Shin Akuma. I just don't know where he is. Here he is, where Vega is. Shin Akuma. Okay. That's so fast. That actually didn't do a lot of damage. Why is that not doing a lot of damage? Dude, the regular Akuma Raging Demon did a lot more damage. At least, ra like, what Raging Demon lacks in damage, it makes up for just in sheer speed, you know? So fast. Okay, I want to see Akuma's exceed. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it's his, um, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, like, big level 3 in that game. That's sick, okay. I assume it homes it on the opponent. Nice counter, okay. Yeah, just- Oh, the damage! Uh, bro, it homes. If they do anything like that, instant counter hit. Oh, you already know what time it is. Is it unblockable? Because he went to block it. Perfect. Mastery Shinikumo. I think we only have a couple characters left. Okay, so we only have like four characters left or something like that. Four or five left. And I was thinking, let's finally try out Mars people. He's animating very fast there. <laughs> I can figure them out. Okay. Oh, double half circle forward punch. Whoa, what? Can you just keep doing that? Can you do his other super? Well, what's that move? Well, half circle back. Okay. You can do that. Ooh! You see the exceed? That's so funny! It's just a down, 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 and both punches. So you can't cross up the input, right? Because it's just down, down, down. They crash land. They crash land onto Earth. That's so funny. Do it. Call him in. Yeah, nice. Oh, the rings! <laughs> That's so good. And it happened so fast as well. And it looks like a little tea bag you gotta do to get the super out as well, which is funny. <laughs> and we should get the trophy now. Yes, Mastery Mars people. Beautiful. We only have like five more trophies, I think. Okay, so I'm thinking now, only a few more characters left, and let's do Zero. Haven't played as him yet. But I believe he's based on his appearance in the Mega Man Battle Network games, because he doesn't look like Zero in Mega Man X. That's where I know him from. I just realized, we haven't played as Dan yet. He's one of the characters we still have to touch. And Zero's movement is also crazy. His uh, walk speed is amazing, and his, his back dash especially. Goodness. So fast. Oh no. Oh no! I got, I got hit with a Dan Raging Demon. That's fine. Still looking good. Oh, I risked it all. If I got hit by that, I would have died. That's okay, though. Nice. Is that it? Nearly ended with the beam. I missed time to do it again. <laughs> Alright, this should do it if it hits. There we go. Perfect. His exceed is also a bit like a raging demon. Oh, what's that? Oh, on hit. Oh! He calls in the boys. Well, so much stuff is going on. What's going on? That did nothing, but I'm red now? Does it put me in like an install? Does it make me do more damage? Am I faster? Yeah, I'm faster. Okay. Okay, so it does a decent damage and it makes me faster. Please? Yes! Okay, I had a feeling he was gonna press. <sighs> Magic pixel zero. Perfect. I guess Athena is just really eager to abduct people and make them fight her. Like, I don't get what Athena's problem is. She abducts you, and then she's like, oh, you're not worthy to be here. It's like, well, why did you abduct me then? I didn't ask to be here. I didn't even know that you were up here. <laughs> Perfect. Mastery Zero. Alrighty. We can probably finish the Platinum off. Alright, there's the man himself, Dimitri. 5'11", 6 foot. Let's go. So he has a Raging Demon as well. Nice, the bite move. Oh, so much damage. I love how he bites you so quickly. It's also hard because, again, I'm on pad. But it's worth it because the damage is nuts. And if I want something more reliable, Midnight Bliss. Let's see. Oh no, okay, just kind of puts her into a kimono. There we go, perfect. Doosh. I'm trying to do the Raging Demon. It's, you're gonna be so fast. Okay, I'm very glad I got it there. 
Yeah, for raging demons in this game, there's like no leniency. You gotta be extremely quick. I'm gonna put my whole body into it. Okay. Bang. Perfect. Okay. Game over. Mastery Dimitri. Perfect. Okay, final character. I believe Dan, wherever he is, he's somewhere here. Where's Dan? There he is, where Dalsim is for some reason. So Dan is obviously a pretty bad character. He's meant to be a joke character, of course. But he has his fireball. His DP. Oh, with a strict input reading like Ryu. And then Dan kicks. That's like Mr. Karate's fireball. Oh, it doesn't even launch properly from that distance. Okay, there we go. Nice. Yeah, super jumping in and then buffering a super so it comes out as soon as you land is a really good technique against the AI I found. Oh no. I really want to end this with the Raging Demon though. So I'm going to try to get Akuma down to really low life. But I also need to take damage myself. Okay, he should be in death range. There we go! <laughs> Oyoshi! Awesome, I'm glad we got that. Dan? And then the sh I think there's a gold one? Yeah, Master of Chaos. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so as you can see, we have one trophy left. So the home stretch. And I left this one for last because it's funny. Use the taunt command 15 times in arcade versus or online. So what I'm thinking is we could just go into one player. And obviously we have to do this with Dan, right? There he is. So I just have to taunt 15 times. Just overall. And I've, I think I've already taunted once or twice beforehand, but let's go. There's one. There's two. Three. Oh, easy. Perfect. Three. <laughs> and that should be it. Yeah, that's the Platinum. Conqueror of Heaven and Hell. We now officially own the SNK vs. Capcom SVC Chaos Platinum Trophy. Woohoo! Yeah! And with that, my Platinum journey is finally over. So this isn't scripted now, this is just me rambling and just talking stream of consciousness. Going into this video, I thought, you know, maybe 20, maybe 30 minutes at the most, like maximum, that's pushing it. But yeah, I just had so much fun playing the game and getting all the footage and recording and editing it that I just, you know, it spiraled out of control and I made a long video. And if you're hearing this outro, it means you made it all the way to the end, so thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate you and you watching my videos. Um, I have a lot of more videos coming on the way, so please stay tuned on a wide variety of topics I'm going to be covering later on on the channel. And yeah, let's keep the channel growing and let's keep the videos coming out on a weekly basis. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you had fun. Maybe you even learned something about the game, who knows. But anyway, I will see you in the next one. Thanks.